Good afternoon, everyone. Actually, no, it'll be morning. I, <laughs> for the past two weeks, I've done these in the afternoon, but no, I'm going to release this at a, probably 10 a.m. EST. So good morning, everyone. We Woo here, and today is Friday, which means it's time for another public operation with the Global Mobilization DLC. So, uh, if you want to come and play, it's a T-Zero op within TSB, open to the public. All that we ask is that you have a working headset for communication purposes, and you are at least... 18 years of older uh, or you can just lie to my face or someone else's face so we're, just, we're not really looking for age we're looking for maturity but I digress you know just we're here to play video games after all <laughs> so uh, with all that said uh, if you want to come play the operation starts at 2 30 p.m. EST but you have to be in the TSB TeamSpeak server in the Friday Operations channel by 2.15 EST because that's when we do our AFK check because, I mean, last week, for example, we had people stay in that Friday Operations channel till Wednesday and then they, you know, unmuted their microphones and said they were ready to go uh, at 2.15 and we let them play. But, you know, people are really competitive for their slots sometimes. So that's why we have that AFK check because people, I think our record is we had someone wait till Monday. To play in a friday op uh so that's why we have that afk check because then we sort you in the squads before you join the server then we hand out the password and then you're good to go now uh this isn't a purely vanilla operation we require four mods uh cba because the base dependencies uh for other mods require cba uh tfar which is our radio plugin note that tfar also has to have a team speak plugin uh to, for it to work uh, I will be playing a video on how to install that uh, at the end of this video. And uh, you also require enhanced movement, which lets you basically vault fences or get on rooftops a lot easier because vanilla doesn't let you do that. And C-Tab. Um, because this is a Cold War 1980s style campaign, we don't it's not really viable to have CTAB, but we still use it so you can keep track of everyone's position on the map for your squads because it's still really useful to have. So it breaks your immersion a little bit, but it's more of those... It's more one of those slice of life mods that keeps the uh, the operation going smoothly for the squad leaders to keep track of everybody. Because we wouldn't want someone to get you know shot, get stuck being in a medical animation that they need to be picked up, and then they're left behind because the squad lead has no idea where you are. So that's why we have it. So, uh, if you can't find those four mods on your own, do not worry. We have an HTML on our Discord uh, that you can run through your Arma browser, and it'll install all the mods for you and set it up as a mod set for you to join. I will also play a video at the end of uh, this little talk down of um, how to do that. Um, It'll be before the uh, TFAR setup video. And of course, we have copies of this video on our uh, team sp or, excuse me, our Discord server under our mod sets page. So uh, once you got all the mods, once you got TFAR squared away, jump onto the TeamSpeak server. Uh, go down to the help desk if you are a brand new person. There, uh, someone will jump up and ask you those two questions I said earlier. Do you have a working microphone? Are you at least 18 years of age? And if you can answer to both of those correctly, um, we give you a T0 tag, we give you a little rundown of how TSB works, because that T0 tag can also get you into almost any other Zeus's operations within TSB. We run three to four operations every day, and or trainings. Uh, for example, Granite Royal Wolf, one of our Tier 3s, uh, he ran a swap uh, ARC Trooper operation um, Thursday evening, and it was a blast, to be perfectly honest. It was, it was a great big amount of fun, a bunch of memes, a bunch of insanity. Uh, they blew up half of our frickin' carrier that we spawned on. It was, it was great. <laughs> a lot of battleship jokes. But I'm digressing here just to show you guys. We do plenty of stuff within TSB. This isn't our, you know, only little one-trick pony show, so... With that said, uh, someone will give you the T0 tag, and then you can jump down to the Friday Operations channel. If that channel is full for whatever reason, and I'm going to be honest, guys, it might be full today, because not only am I uh, releasing this video a bit earlier on schedule, but I've been told uh, by a lot of people that they are coming back for this operation. So, it's a bit competitive. Earlier you get in and start AFK until 2.15, the better. 
Um, but if that channel is full for whatever reason, you need to jump into the standby channel. It's right above the uh, Friday Operations channel. Don't go into the AFK channel like some people do because we don't know who's in that channel to be AFK waiting for the server to open up or who's AFK in there in general for the entire team speak because TSB is a multi-gaming community. It's not just Arma. We have a lot of other games we play in there. So, um, yeah, that's that's it. Get yourself on, get tagged, jump down, wait till 2.15. You'll get in the server by about 2.45ish, and we'd like to start on the dot at 3. Uh, today's operations are going to be a bit more open world style. There's like five different towns you can clear. There's a known artillery position, and there's a known fob, which each have different effects that if ground command decides to hit first will be beneficial to them, and naturally have a bunch of hidden enemy vehicle positions and camo nets and all this fun little stuff to fuck around with, you know, to... uh challenge you guys <laughs> so with that said um it's the end of this video isn't that great <laughs> i've this is the first time in a while i've actually been able to you know i'm recording this at 4 a.m right now but anyway we'll get on to the other two videos the uh, html importation config stuff and the tfar team speak setup stuff and yeah Thank you so much for your time, guys. Go operate operationally. I uh, hope to see you on the server or live on Twitch by either 2.30 or 3 p.m. EST. And otherwise, take care, guys. Have a good one. Go operate operationally. And again, this does need that new global mobilization DLC. Cheers. All right. So this is really simple. Uh, when you click on the mod set link uh, for the PV... Uh, So in the video description, there is a link to Dropbox uh, that has an import config for the mod set we use for Friday, including the optionals, because it's nicer to have, in my opinion, all these additional things. All you have to do is click that download button. It'll appear in your uh, downloads folder. And then all you have to do is boot up Arma, get to your mod section, hit this, click import. And then double click that. And hopefully, if it will load. Oh, right, you have to click overwrite if it takes the name. Uh, then it will automatically subscribe and check off all the mods you need. Then you can save that as whatever you want. Now, if this is grayed out, just relaunch Arma. Uh, I've had to relaunch Arma up to like six times to get this to be not grayed out. Uh, also, you can try restarting Steam or restarting your computer, um, but that'll eventually be available. And then you can just load that config, and that's all the mods you need to play. Okay, this is how you do Task Force Radio. Really, really simple. So, first, you want to get into your modded Arma 3 mod folder to uh, get into your workshop folder. Uh, this might be hidden, so you might have to go and enable hidden files, which to do that, you just have to go to view, uh, and then check that box to enable hidden files, then you go into workshop. Um, by the way, the file path will be whatever your PC is to whatever your drive is, program files, 86 Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 3, Workshop. Alternatively, you can load this up, right-click on the uh, Task Force Radio, and then go to Open Folder. It'll say don't touch anything, because if you bork it, you'll break it, yadi da. And uh, from there, that will lead you to Task Force. I have way too many mods, goddamn. Um, we are using the regular one, not the beta version. Uh, that runs a different key. Don't run it. Uh, and then you go to TeamSpeak. You then double-click this. You hit install. Yes. It's gonna say it fails because I have TeamSpeak open in the other window. Make sure you don't have TeamSpeak open, so I'm just going to delete it. So, double-click that. Install. Yes. Boom. And then load your TeamSpeak up. It'll be right there. And then make sure you go to Options. You go to add-on, scroll down, and make sure that Task Force Arma 3 radio is enabled. This is the beta key. You want to make sure if you're ever running beta, you don't have this enabled, because if you have both of these enabled at the same time, 
uh, it won't work properly. Furthermore, you want to make sure when you're switching between keys, just, just a fun fact for beta, uh, that you disable the TFAR plugin first before you re-enable it, because if you were, uh, enable both at any time, your TFAR will um, crash, and then your TeamSpeak will crash, and then if you're on a server, you'll probably crash from there as well. Fun fact from a guy that runs with both plugins. But yeah, that is it, guys. So yeah, happy playing. <laughs>